hit record. Hi, Sekum. How are you? How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you, David? I'm doing well. Thank you very much for uh, for taking the next ten or twelve minutes uh, to meet with me on our Vizio Smart TV. Uh, just give me a second to get a screen share here. And you you can see my screen now, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me let me ask you. Um, uh, why are you interested in uh, in a smart TV? Uh, basically, one one for my room. Um, you know, I have I have a, I have a family, and uh, what happens is like everyone fights for like we just have one TV in the house, and I want a personal one for my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, pretty much that's why I need it. Family fights for the TV. What do you use your TV yeah. for? Uh, I mean, I basically watch TV shows or I either game. I, I have a Sony PS5. So okay. I like to, you know, game. Yeah. Time to time. Yeah. TV and game. Uh, is there anyone else in the, in the home that needs their, their TV for anything different than television shows or gaming? Uh, no, no. Be, that's the basic requirement. Okay, so I just just to make sure you want to stop family fights and uh, and you want a game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, so I just want to give a quick introduction on who we are at uh, at Vizio. We've been in the in the television market for about twenty years. We've been manufacturing televisions. Uh, we're based in Southern California. We have four hundred people uh, across North America. Our television sets are, are made in Mexico, Vietnam, some are made in China. Uh, I'm new to Salesville, and so I'm the regional territory manager here for Southwestern Ontario for Vizio. Uh, we have a lot of loyal and dedicated people behind our name, and they're very proud to, to represent Vizio, and they, they, they do their best to give 24-7 support and, and good user interface, good programming on our TVs. Uh, do you have any questions on Vizio? Um, no, not as of now. Okay. Um, so behind, today we're going to focus on the M series. Uh, this is our middle of the road series on Vizio. We have an economic series. It's called a, a uh, P series. And then we have a higher end version called a V series. Our M series is kind of in the middle of the road, but it still has very advanced uh, processor technology in. And so a smart okay. television is starting to approach the level of sophistication at a smartphone or, or you know, uh, a Chromebook or, or a small laptop has. And so the heart of the television actually is, is a very advanced processor. And so this allows for advanced graphics. It can allow to run hundreds and hundreds of apps. It also allows for seamless Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity with your smartphone. May I ask what type of smartphone you use? Uh, I, I use an Apple iPhone 10. Okay, so just yeah. to let you know, out of the box, the Vizio M series will connect either Bluetooth 5 or, or Wi-Fi uh, with, your, with your iPhone, it takes about 40 seconds, no hardware, no cable, very easy to sync with, a, with just a, uh, an app install and they work quite seamlessly with, with the iOS, uh, just to let oh, you know. That's good. Oh yeah, that's, that's actually good, yeah. Uh, another uh, advanced feature on our M series is uh, we've got about a billion uh, little individual dots in our screen sizes. These are, are, there's a billion semiconductors on there and that allows us to do very, very, very vibrant um, uh, coloring. Uh, and it also allows us when it comes to gaming, uh, we have got higher refresh rates, 120 hertz refresh. Uh, this means it eliminates any choppiness or any lag. This will come from live action sports on the TV or any, any dance okay. shows, any reality shows, but it also helps with gaming. There's no lag. And with Bluetooth 5, uh, with Bluetooth 5 connectivity, you can even game from your phone. Uh, if you're into it, I know you mentioned PlayStation, that'll be very easy to connect. It'll, those high refresh rates, there's no lag, no choppiness. Um, and that includes on the networking side too. And I'll get to that uh, just a little bit later. Um, so yeah, we're, we've got very advanced frame rates and, and the television was partially designed for gamers in mind. Is that something of interest, uh, uh, Sigan? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
here, just a quick look at our specs. Most television companies will start their mid, mid level, their mid tier TVs at the 48 inch level. We're actually up to 50 inch. And one of the reasons, let me grab a picture of the TV. See my uh, arrow? I'm looking yeah. at, uh, I'm, I'm going along the frame. It's a yeah. very, 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 very thin frame. And that, uh, that has allowed us to actually expand for a uh, close to a 50 inch viewable area on the television. So you get a couple extra inches. Most companies usually start around 47 or 48 inches. We start at 50. It just gives you a little bit more viewing area. Four HDMI ports, standard. There's two in the bottom, two in the back of the TV, just helps manage the cables. Ethernet input. Uh, I don't know about you. I've got a I've got gigabit internet at home. It runs through uh, it, it runs through Ethernet. Uh, I I only get about 400 meg on Wi-Fi, uh, but I'm getting a gig or close to it on Ethernet. And oh, Ethernet input okay. is standard on the TV, so you don't just have to rely that, on that's, Yeah, that's going to be good for gaming. Yeah. 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 So it's going to max out the speed if your if yeah. your ISP providers giving you a gig or 500 meg, and you've got good cabling, it's going to tap into that. Oh, okay. Um, USB port, you can draw power off that in case you need any devices that, that, that need to power up. Very quickly on the remote, it's going to look like a basic remote. It's an eight or nine button remote uh, with volume controls. You've got two ways to control a TV. You can use your smartphone app to do this or you can just use a simple remote, but there's an advantage to the remote. It's voice activated. It's got a built-in microphone. So Siri will work on your Vizio TV and Siri's going to pick up your instructions from the remote mic. You don't have to speak into your phone to control the TV. If you want to use voice recognition, Siri will work with, with the built-in oh, wow. mic on your remote. That, oh, that that's sounds cool. interesting. Yeah, that sounds yeah, that's actually yeah, pretty good because usually the TVs are you uh are like uh Android operated and they have like hey okay Google on it and not Siri. So this, this is pretty interesting. Yeah, and so this is because we're dealing with current technology, uh this is gonna work with iOS 12 and up. So your your 10, you should you're probably running about 14 on your on your iPhone 10 right now, so it's going to be more than capable right out of the box. There's no hardware. There's there's nothing to seamless. It's a QR code to just get everything up up and running on that. Um, so glad you sound interested in that. Have you given a thought to uh, any any how the sound's going to control from your TV? Um, like uh, you mean the basic output of the TV, so the sound output. So the television is going to come with with a couple basic speakers. They usually put basic oh, speakers. Okay. Now okay. you mentioned your family might be involved with this, and yeah. don't have to decide now. But just something to think about in your room is how you know Vizio were very big on sound bars. They're our second best selling product. And okay. at Vizio, we design our sound bars to meet the type of TV that's being offered. So if someone were to buy an economy P series, they would get a P series soundbar. If they want a high end V series, they would get a V series soundbar. So for the mid tier M series, we have M series soundbars. And the soundbars come in about three packages. There's a five speaker package, nine speaker mm -hmm. package. And then there's a 16 okay. speaker if you've got room. I don't at home, maybe you do. Um, but just think about maybe how, how you wanna incorporate sound into the overall usage of your television. Just something to think about. Uh, do you have any questions uh, that you'd like to bring up? Um, so I just, um, <clears throat> so the sound bar which you're talking about. So yep. <clears throat> does that come with the TV or is that in, you know? It would, be, it would be an add-on with the TV. It would be an add-on, okay. Yes, it okay. would be an add-on. There's usually discounts on them at, uh -huh. when you, at the point of purchase of the television. Mm -hmm. um yeah we hope to come out with uh some updated pricing next week for you on that but i just wanted okay. to give you just a little idea not everyone thinks about that they get they, they think about the tv and all the wonderful things about the tv but they never think yeah. about how it's going to sound yeah. so i just wanted to, yeah. to bring that aware
Okay. Uh, one of the things we're proud at Vizio is we're still winning awards uh, in 2020, 2021. We're not relying on awards that we won 10 years ago. These are awards that magazines and newspapers are giving us currently. Uh, and, and we're quite proud of that. Um, and finally, support. Uh, easy to update firmware. Uh, we keep, keep things safe and secure in your Vizio TV. Easy to use apps. One of the things I want to mention is there's online chat support, 24-7 support with Vizio, even on older products. We're there to help with the older products too. So if you do need support four or five years from now, you will get it 24-7 support through our chat app with Vizio. Uh, okay. Probably one of these fine people right here. <laughs> uh, do you have any further questions, Jacob? Uh, yeah, one last question. Uh, yeah. Do you have any warranty on the TV? Like what kind of warranty do you guys have? And if, yeah, if you guys do, what, what, what does it cover? We're quite proud of our warranty, actually. Our warranty is, 20, is a, uh, a one-year parts and labor warranty. Uh, what that means is when it comes to warranty issues, three quarters of the cost of a warranty is usually done on the labor. It's very easy to cover parts. A lot of companies don't actually cover the labor side. Vizio does. So you get an automatic one year uh, parts and labor warranty. If we find the television cannot be repaired under warranty, it is replaced at the current level or with more advanced technology. We don't downgrade, we try to upgrade at the point of warranty. We do offer extended warranties. Uh, if you would like to discuss that further, we can do another meeting on, on an extended warranty package, which would double that to two years parts and labor. It's a, it's a minor add-on with the television purchase, but it gives you a full 24 months parts and labor and replacement months. on your TV. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we can discuss that uh, in a further meeting yeah. if you wish. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just, I, I, I'll speak to my, speak to my family first regarding this. Yep. And uh, definitely, you know, we can schedule a meeting sometime soon. Yep. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll look into it. Okay, Seika, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll send out an invite next week. We can discuss further and I should have some updated pricing for you. All right, perfect. And think about that soundbar package. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay. All right.